Sick is a horror movie directed by John Hyams that takes place during the COVID-19 pandemic lockdown. The film explores the ongoing fear and panic caused by the pandemic, as well as the added horror of a killer on the loose. The setting of the movie highlights the fear of the unknown and the paranoia surrounding physical contact with strangers during the pandemic. The theme of mask up and the constant reminder to be cautious is also present throughout the film. Warning spoilers ahead. The movie follows a character named Tyler as he is shopping in a convenience store during a panic buying scene. He receives a mysterious text message from an unknown sender inviting him to a party, with the condition that he must test negative for COVID-19. Despite trying to ignore the messages, Tyler becomes increasingly uneasy when the sender sends him a picture of himself taken at the store. He is unsure of why someone is following him and the situation becomes more mysterious as the sender refuses to reveal their identity. Tyler arrived at his apartment and discovered that the door was unlocked. The television started automatically after he locked the door. Tyler was terrified, and he assumed the stalker had followed him to his apartment. A man dressed in black attacked him from behind with a knife. Tyler fought with all his might, but it wasn't enough to defeat him. Tyler was stabbed to death after the man duped him. Following Tyler's death, we meet two girls named Mary and Parker. They were on their way to Parker's lake house to spend the quarantine and isolation together. Apart from a house across the lake, there were no other houses nearby, making it ideal for quarantine. They shared photos of the exotic home on their social media accounts. While they were looking forward to their visit, Parker was perplexed when she received a text from a stranger. The message indicated that he was aware of their conversation. Mary assumed it was someone who had seen their social media updates and wanted to scare them. The girls ignored the text, but the same man in black who killed Tyler was clearly following them. What was Tyler's connection to the two girls? What was the masked man looking for? Sick ending explained. Who was killer hiding behind the mask? Did Mary and Parker survive in the end? Mary and Parker were startled when the doorbell rang unexpectedly. Parker bravely opened the door with a knife in her hand, but no one was there. When they turned around, they saw DJ, their friend. DJ dropped by the house unexpectedly after checking Parker's social media. He was in love with her, but they were not legally married. She wasn't looking for a long-term relationship and was afraid of falling in love with him. Parker tried to hide her emotions because the two had an emotional connection. That night, the three of them partied in the basement, with the sanitizer spray serving as their party favor. They decided to call it a night after consuming so much alcohol and marijuana. DJ slept in the living room, while the girls slept in separate rooms. As they slept peacefully, the man in black removed their phones. DJ awoke from his sleep, noticed his phone was missing, and realized there was someone else in the house. DJ motioned for Parker to accompany him to the car while he attempted to save Mary. The stranger was about to attack Mary, but luckily, DJ arrived just in time. He directed Mary to the car while he tackled the man. DJ was overpowered and brutally murdered despite putting up a valiant fight. The girls attempted to drive away, but soon discovered that their tires were punctured. Mary broke their leg when they entered the house and attempted to escape through the window. Parker was successful in attacking the stranger and smashing his head in. However, she soon noticed another man walk in through the door. When he saw the body of the other stranger, he became emotional. Parker had a brief moment of relief after bashing the man but she soon realized she had another person to deal with. After fleeing the house, she discovered Mary alive and lying on the ground. She instructed her to act dead while she tackled the stranger. The man followed her across the lake to the neighbor's house. Parker was forced to flee after he murdered her neighbor, Mr. Louise. She came to a halt after reaching the road. Parker was refused entry into her vehicle because she was not wearing her mask. She offered her an extra mask she was carrying, which turned out to be chloroform laced. Parker was returned to the house by the woman and the man. She gave Parker a COVID test and waited for her to regain consciousness. Parker discovered that the man she killed was the couple's elder son. They explained that they were looking for Parker because of the party she hosted, which resulted in a large number of people testing positive. They blamed her for failing to take the necessary precautions during the pandemic, putting others' lives at risk. Tyler was tracked down and killed because he was the one who infected Parker. Parker kissed Benji at the party, who was their younger son who died alone in the hospital after becoming infected. Parker's test result was positive, which surprised her because she had no symptoms of the viral disease. Pamela explained that she was infected. During their conversation, the man noticed someone attempting to connect to the house's Wi-Fi, and they concluded that it had to be her other friend. While Jason was looking for her, Mary attacked Pamela from behind and pushed her out a window. The girls were prepared when Jason returned. He landed on a decorative antler after being pushed off the first floor. The girls dashed to the garage and attempted to drive a jeep, but the battery had died. Pamela charged at them with an axe as they were looking for an alternative. Mary set her on fire because she had no other choice. Pamela fled for her life, but she died after collapsing on the road. The girls survived an unimaginable night, covered in blood. The horror was finally over as dawn broke and police cars approached the house. While the lockdown was a horror show in and of itself, Sick uses dark comedy to heighten the panic and stress that people felt. Jason and Pamela had gone insane after losing their younger son, especially since they couldn't be with him in his final moments. They couldn't exact revenge on a virus, so they decided to murder those who had contributed to his death. 
When Parker asked them why Benji was at the party kissing a stranger, they had no answer. The parents believed that only by murdering Parker and Tyler could they find peace in their lives. While it is sick to think about, if people started killing those who infected them, it would have been a bloody, messy apocalypse. Thanks for watching, and if you are new to our channel, subscribe and click the bell icon so you do not miss out on our latest videos.